गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ विल स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री एक्सप्लेन हाउ दिस फिगर इज इट रेपीजियम एंड विच ऑफ इट्स टू साइड्स आर पैटलर नाउ के एल एम एन इज अ कॉर्डिनेटर गिवन टू यू एंड वी हैव टू प्रूव इट इज अ ट्रेपीजियम वी नो दैट दैट वन पेयर ऑफ ऑपोजिट साइड ऑफ अ कॉर्डिनेटर इज इक पैरलर देन द कॉर्डिनेटर इज अ ट्रेपीजियम नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील प्रूव वन पेयर ऑफ ऑपोजिट साइड पैरलर फॉर दैट एंगल एम प्लस एंगल एन हंड्रेड प्लस एट्टी द सम ऑफ दीज टू एंगल इज वन एट्टी डिग्री दीज आर को इंटीरियर एंगल्स एंड वी नो दैट इफ को इंटीरियर एंगल्स आर सप्लीमेंट्री देन लाइन्स आर पैरल इट मीन्स एन एम इज पैरल टू के एल बिकॉज द सम ऑफ दीज टू को इंटीरियर एंगल्स इज वन एटी डिग्री एंड नाउ वन पेयर ऑफ ऑपोजिट साइड इज पैरल now we'll write we know that if one pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is parallel then the quadrilateral is a trapezium it means k l m n is a trapezium with k l is parallel to m n now question number 11 a b c d is a quadrilateral given to you in which ab is parallel to dc it means this is a trapezium and you have to find out angle c angle b is given now these two lines are parallel and one angle 120 degree ab is parallel to dc and bc is a transversal it means sum of angle b plus c that will be 180 degree these are co interior angles and co interior angles are supplementary so angle c will be 180 minus 120 degree that is 60 degree now question number 12 of this exercise find the measure of angle p and s angle p and s we have to find out means these two angles we have to find out sp is parallel to rq it's a trapezium given to you p q r s angle r 90 degree and angle q 130 degree then by using the criteria of co interior angles will find out sp is parallel to rq and sr is a transversal so angle s plus angle r is equals to 180 degree these are co interior angles now angle s will be equals to 180 minus 90 it means 90 degree now we have to find out angle p same criteria will use sp is parallel to rq and ps pq now this transversal will use is a 
transversal. Now angle P plus Q is equals to 180 degree. These are co interior angles. Now angle P we have to find out and Q is 130 degree. Angle P will be 180 degree minus 130 degree means 50 degree. Angle P 50 degree and angle S we have 90 degree. Now in the question it is given to you if we find the measurement of angle R is there more than one method to find out angle P? Is there any other method to find out angle P? Yes, we can find out. This is 90 degree. We will find out this also. This is also 90 degree. Then by using angle sum property of a quadrilateral, we have these three angles. We can find out by using angle sum property of a quadrilateral and find out angle P. So children complete exercise 3.3. Thank you and have a nice day.